Hey Cancer, welcome to your reading. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through some messages here for the next three months, so April, May, June of 2022. Take what resonates, leave the rest. You guys can check out your sun, your moon, your rising sign. We are gonna get some general messages to start. And then we are going to look at the three months kind of individually. We're going to get an oracle and a tarot card for each. We'll look at some general love messages and anything unexpected that could come up. And then some messages from your guides. So let's see, Cancer. We have mirroring. What's going on for Cancer for the next three months? We have end of a cycle. That's nice. Yeah, one more for cancer here. One more. Okay, we got three. We have meaningful coincidences, spiritual awakening, divine feminine. Okay. Slow and steady here. Healthy boundaries. A lot of healing. Um, everything happens for a reason. Now, you could be mirroring someone. Um or something's being reflected back to you is actually what I'm getting off of that. I think that's this is part of that spiritual awakening, okay? Um, there is kind of this end to this cycle because you are having this spiritual awakening, but I feel like it happened for a, re a reason. Okay, so you're seeing something clearly with that mirroring energy. Um, and I feel like this has been probably a slow and steady progress, but you're starting to see the truth or starting to see a situation for what it really has to offer or what it really, you know, means. And I think you're kind of coming out of this, this energy here. Okay. So that looks positive. I like that cancer. So let's get into the months. We are going to look at April, May, and June for cancer, please. We will be entering your season in June, kind of near the end there. Let's see what is going on for Cancer for the next three months. Can I get one card for each month, please? So April, we have Magician Sword, Confidence in Your Magic. May, we have Dream Thief, Refusal of the Call. One more. I'm going to take this one. We have Repairing the Veil, Forgiveness. Okay. So 37. This is the, breaks down to a 10. This is the ending of a cycle here. This is happening in April. Bottom of the de deck, we have 38, which says Many Masks, the Authentic Self. So I think you're stepping into more of who you are or your own energy feeling more like yourself, that sort of thing. Um, so I feel like you've manifested something or you will be manifesting. You're creating with this magician energy here. Having confidence in yourself, I think, because you've ended this cycle stepping into positive energy. Um, it feels like there's kind of this, again, this spiritual awakening, this kind of um, clarity that's coming to you. Now, in May, we have the Dream Thief, Refusal of the Call. So there could be something that you are wanting to move towards that you're not or you haven't. Uh, maybe there's a dream that you have or a goal that you really want to achieve that you are holding back on for some reason. Um, and I think that there may be something here that you are healing still within yourself. Like there might be another aspect of your life that you're now healing, right? The healing journey never ends um, as much as we would love it to and life to be perfect and grand and lots of fun. <laughs> well, life can be fun without um, being fully healed, right? But I just feel like there's something maybe you're forgiving yourself for because you have um, maybe not stepped towards something that you really do want for yourself. This could be too, like many masks, if it's like you're slowly taking off the layers to get to who you truly are, okay? So it's like you might have broken through one phase and it's like you're now kind of working through other energies. Let's see. Um, let's get a tarot card for each month here. So what's going on in April for Cancer? We have the Two of Swords. 
what's going on in May for Cancer, Knight of Pentacles, and then June, we have the world. Bottom of the deck, we have the magician, um, which again, we had here twice. So there's something that you are creating. I feel like there's something that there's something you really want for yourself, a life, a, a something, maybe something specific that you're desiring. This is saying that you have, yeah, Wheel of Fortune is behind and the Nine of Pentacles. Come on, Cancer. And the Sun. Holy. So at the bottom of the deck, if I can hold on to the cards here, we have the Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Sun. Your dreams are coming true. Your wishes are coming through. What you're trying to manifest is coming true. I feel like as long as you take the action, you put the energy and the effort in and you keep honing your craft and you keep mastering and working on things, it's like the fruits of your labor are going to pay off for you. You are going to get these rewards and you are going to have success. Um, it's all in a matter of time. And some of you, this timing thing is almost what's keeping you caught up. It's like some of you feel like you've already or you should have already completed something. And I almost feel like that's what this dream thief is. It's like you feel like you've cheated yourself when really you're just moving through the process. Um, so in April, we have this magician sword, confidence in your magic with the two of swords. So difficult decisions, indecisions and stalemates. So there's something about you've been stagnating on something or you've been holding back on something and it's now time to be confident to move forward. It's the end of a cycle. It's time for you to step into this new energy. You know, things are happening for a reason. I do feel like you're kind of, you see, I think you actually do see this. It's more of just, it's now the taking action part. It's like, you know what to do, but now you got to do it. And that's where I feel like it could be the taking action part that you're struggling with. Um, and that could be what's keeping you a little bit stuck here in a little bit of a stalemate is the fact that you you are needing to take action. You're needing to, you have all the skills and the tools that you need, but you need to take one of these swords and do something with it. Okay, so April's really testing you and having you have confidence in yourself. Some of you maybe working on your mindset would be beneficial for you with this two of swords, okay? But there's a choice that's needing to be made um, and it's about moving forward in a certain direction. Okay, some of you may have a choice between two things. Um, others of you, this is just a choice to like literally step forward into something. And I see this kind of carry forward into May where you're kind of in this energy of wanting to do the right thing. You know, uh, Knight of Pentacles can be like making a plan, sticking to the plan, seeing something through. So I don't feel like you're giving up on your dreams or your goal It's and you're working hard, but it's almost like it's not happening at the pace that you want it to happen. And so you almost feel like you're missing out. You feel like you aren't doing what you should be doing or you're there's almost kind of this like negative view on yourself and the efforts that you're putting towards your goals because you feel like it should be happening faster that's what i i'm getting off of this so i don't feel like you're not i think you actually are taking action towards your goals and your dreams it's just that you feel like it's happening very slow some of you with this refusal of a call because it's happening slow you might step away from it Okay, so this is saying don't give up. Keep moving towards your goals and your dreams in May, even if it seems hard and it seems slow and things are maybe not working the way that you want because this can be putting in a lot of work and maybe not seeing the results right away. But I do feel like it's going to pick up. Okay, I do feel like there's like slow and steady baby steps moving forward is going to help you achieve your goals and your dreams. Um, it's not being taken from you. It's just happening at a, its own specific pace. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm getting is like in May, just remember that like things are kind of happening in their own timing, but that doesn't mean they're not happening at all, right? And then we have number 45 with repairing the veil and forgiveness. And then we have the world card here with fulfillment, harmony, harmony and completion. So it's like you're fully healing something. You've completed something. It's like you're sewing something back up together and you are repairing and completing a cycle here. Some of you, that could be a little bit of this too, is this ending of the cycle of you feeling unaccomplished or not feeling um, 
like healing a wound of like being able to have success or being able to have victory or complete projects. There is like a personal healing that's happening here. And it's almost like because you accomplish something, because you achieve something with the world, you're able to kind of close out this chapter, close out a cycle here um, in June. Now, this could have to do with your work. This could have to do with just like your personal life in general, like your spiritual path. Um, but this is really about like when you move forward with the world card here, it's about um, moving forward in a way that it's like you can kind of forgive yourself for the past and how things played out. And you're in more of a fulfilled energy. Some of you are really going to accomplish your goals or achieve your goal. Like that refusal of the call. And like if you stick to the plan in May, I see in June you really um, moving forward and really actually being able to um, achieve the success that you're looking for. I see you completing something in June that, again, I feel like you might start in April, May. And by the end of June, I feel like things are really going to start to be finishing up or closing up here for you and you're going to feel really fulfilled and really good about it you just have to maintain your power and your strength through these next three months to get something completed here okay so something just feels like it's very hard or it's very challenging for you it's basically saying over these next three months like don't give up don't give up on yourself don't give up on your goals and your dreams because you can accomplish what it is that you're setting out to accomplish okay um, so let's get a general love message. So let's see what's going on in love for Cancer for the next three months. What's going on in love for Cancer for the next three months? What do they need to know? Oh boy. We have separation. Time apart is essential to the development of this partnership. I had two others fall out. We have illumination and perception sorry deception deception says trickery and dishonest tactics are being used causing trust issues and then we have illumination the path to be taken will be illuminated so um some of you are separated from someone from the past um i think that something's going to be revealed of like what's not working and time apart might show that okay especially if you're doing your own personal healing now, for some of you, you're seeing the deception from your past or past situations, okay? You're seeing the deception. It's very clear to you. I feel like also, too, you, because you've seen um, and learned from this in the past, again, there's something being reflected or mirrored to you, but because you have seen this once, it's like you can't unsee it. So even future people or new people that come into your life, you're like, oh, yeah, I can spot that a mile away. It's like no one's able to deceive you anymore in certain ways because you've become very aware of it. Some of you may have a person here that's a new person that you may not know, like you haven't met them yet. So the separation is because you have yet to meet them and that's going to be coming aware to you with the illumination card there that a new path in love could be opening up for you. Bottom of the deck, we have vulnerability. The situation is challenging someone to take the risk to be emotionally available and open. So. You could be learning emotional, emotional availability. You could be looking for someone who's emotionally available or the past person. If you have a past person that's coming back in, that could be also too that they realize they need to be open with you and they haven't been because there's that deception. So we have eight of wands, definitely communication. We have the knight of wands, could be dealing with the Sag. One more for cancer. And then we have the five of wands bottom of the deck we have the three of wands so some of you are going to be dating i do feel like you're looking though to get into a actual relationship but there has been some deception you are looking for a more positive relationship like you see through this stuff like crazy so if you have a past person coming back you're going to be like i already i know what you're up to um because some of you definitely could have a bit of a player coming back in possibly someone who always keeps third parties okay and again, if you're falling for that, or if you're if you're experiencing that, you're not falling for that anymore. That cycle is closing out for you. Um, not doesn't say that this person's not going to come back in because I see them doing that, but I I think that you're you're seeing this situation very clearly. Um, others of you could be communicating with new people. Like this could be you getting back out there, you dating, you meeting new people, having options, right? Seeing new people, but wanting something balanced. And I feel like there's good karma 
coming towards you when it comes to your relationships. Yeah, like you guys are not falling for this person anymore because you've healed and you're, you've, you're seeing, you've had this awakening, right? You, this awakening, spiritual awakening and divine feminine, you've had this awakening. And so you see through this person's player-like tendencies yeah, they might even try to say that they want to invest in you. They want to like work on this. You know, maybe they've been focused on their business. Yeah, a lot of you are wanting to move towards new love. I see you being able to do that. I, I um, let's see. Yeah, some of you, this might happen later in the year. There is a more balanced connection out there for you. And it, I don't feel like it's this person. A lot of you have not met this person or it's like faded. There's going to be a more um, balanced connection that comes in here for you, not this. So don't fall for this person if they, you know, like obviously you need to evaluate if you can trust them and what they're saying. But I do feel like there's a better connection out there for you. They may try to heal this. I mean, some of you could maybe heal this with this person. Others of you may not be able to. So that's going to be kind of your own discretion. Um, but there's something being illuminated, okay? So let's see if there's any unexpected messages or anything unexpected that could come up for you. There are the Three of Wands. What's unexpected for Cancer? Eight of Pentacles. Three of Swords, Two of Swords, King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups, okay. So, I feel like there's something with regards to the heart space here. These three cards kind of came out together. So, again, there could be a person here um, or just yourself who, I think if you weren't seeing something clearly with regards to love, you will be seeing something clearly. Okay, and that it may hurt. It may hurt to see this. Some of you may not want to see this, but it's like, I think it's happening so that you can gain a sense of maturity. Um learn from the situation to be able to, to emotionally kind of move forward. Um, also needing to address some of you um, may start working on opening up your heart space. Some of you are going to be leaving something behind or someone behind. You're going to be very fixated and focused on your goals and your dreams with this eight of pentacles, but unexpectedly, I almost see you walking away from something that maybe you didn't expect to walk away. It's, it's not gonna feel great, but I feel like you know that it's the right thing to do for you. Like it's something that you are, like there's a sense of you making the right decision for yourself because you know it's what's healthy for you and you know that you deserve to be happy. So if you have yet to walk away from someone, I actually see you like, the unexpected thing is that you actually this sounds weird, but it's like you do what you know that you're supposed to do. So some of you just like, you know, and like, you know, you should walk away from a situation and you don't because it's just hard <laughs> or it's just like, it's challenging, it's hard. And it's, it's just like, oh, well, maybe they've changed or, oh, well, maybe the situation's changed. It's like, you're realizing that the situation isn't changing. And so the unexpected thing that I feel like is happening for you is you're actually finally walking away. You're actually finally moving forward. Um, away from a situation so I'm not sure that could be in love but that could also just be in your general life and you're walking away because you know that you need to feel emotionally stable um, that you don't feel emotionally stable in your current situation interesting um, there's a lot of like personal growth here definitely for you cancer over these next three months now let's get a final message here from your guides final message for cancer from their guides Final message. We have letting go, yeah. Again, I see you definitely letting go. We have abundance. One more. One more for cancer. Okay, we got two. We got healing energy and we got past, present, and future. So yeah, definitely you guys are healing. I feel like you're letting something go from your past so that you can move forward and, sorry, heal um, 
from a situation and it's it's going to bring a lot more abundance into your life like i feel like you're manifesting again as well too i feel like there's something you're completing and you're working on your own stability financially or materially whatever that you're you're reaching a new level of abundance or working on your abundance and you're walking away from things that are no longer serving you we have ancient wisdom so you're very wise i also feel like your guides are with you helping you through these challenging times or challenging situations that you may encounter over the next three months um, sorry for my dogs um, but I also feel like there's a lot of good things coming into your life as you're also walking away so there's there's obviously good and bad things that are happening but walking away as much as it doesn't feel great sometimes it's like what's necessary for the healing process right um, and a lot of times it feels really good after the fact so that is what I have for you cancer hopefully that resonates let me know down below if not you can check out any of your other signs uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.